Hey, howdy. Today, I think I'm in the mood for just some random walking about and doing dailies. I don't have any, anything specific that I'm thinking of doing. But Hand Hub is super, super easy to get to, so I may as well start there. Overgrown Gate, I think, is it's either a Wataru area or a QXY area. I don't know for sure. I can check real fast. Either way, if I remember correctly, this one's quite beautiful. It's Wataru, right. This is the one... Oh, This is the one that comes off of Radiant Ruins. It's the area that I always get lost in, if it's the one that I'm thinking of. <clears throat> Sorry. It's been, it's been a second since we've done some Wateru exploration, so... Sure. I'm not opposed. And hope is in here somewhere. There you are. Strawberry Fields. Floral... Oh, this is a weird one. This is a really weird one. About, uh, about to start talking about their personas. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm supportive. It's one of those things. It's like I don't I don't necessarily understand it, but I have, why would I why would I be antagonistic? any sense. But even if I did find something wrong with it, there's no point in causing a stir over it. Just live, it, live and let live. And I don't even have a problem with it, so all the more reason to support them when I can. I'm... Okay, I have to go down until I get to the blue area. I'm, I need to make sure so that I don't get lost, because all of these crossroads look exactly the same. Am I going the right way? <laughs> I think I might be one row over. There you are. White strawberry? I'm wondering if white strawberries are a real thing. <clears throat> Bloody hell. I hate... I hate being sick. I hate it so much. And I'm not even sick anymore, this is just like the residual bleh. <laughs> a furry Redditor gamer, just like the prophecy foretold.
the, the chat just adds such a such a wonderful addition. <laughs> because sometimes I look over and I just see I see some very entertaining stuff. I'm happy to be playing this game again just because it's it's very relaxing. I've been playing a lot of high stress games, which mean freaking bits and bops, which is not a stressful game, but any rhythm game. Anyone who has played a lot of rhythm games knows that the pure anxiety and stress of getting a perfect, <laughs> even if you're not going for it explicitly going for it, if you're midway through the level and have not missed a single input, you can feel it. <laughs> like, the anxiety is palpable. Not only that, I've also, I've also been playing some magic with some friends. And magic is- Magic the Gathering is one of those things that just a lot of people avoid it on a surface level because of what it is. Because a lot of people, and rightfully so, a lot of people see it as the nerd game. A game where someone will, like some nerd with a big, with a big shirt, cracks an evil grin, puts five cards on the table and says, I win while crossing his arms defiantly before the guy sitting across from him crosses his arms and does the exact same thing. And the first guy goes, what? Impossible! And it throws down his cards and, and walks away, storming, storming off. Because that was my, that was my vision of magic as well. But the thing I learned more than anything is first off, it's more fun, it's more enjoyable than Hearthstone. And second off, that it's one of those games where the most fun can be had when people don't optimize it. It's similar, <clears throat> similar vein as games like Minecraft and Civ and just any game that has multiplayer and has a progression like that, or like a skill progression. As soon as you start be trying to be optimal, you just you end up sucking all the fun out of the game for other people. And some people are on board with that, and... I... I'm not one of those people, but I can understand that, that kind of mentality. Where do I have to go from here? Oh, freaking wind tunnel. That's gonna be... I'll have to preemptively turn down the sound once I get to that point, because... Wind tunnel is extremely loud. Wait, this is the wrong way, I think. That was Arctic Pillar World. I need to go into gate number three. It's like, I, I respect it when people are able to be hyper-optimal like that. Just find the absolute best, the absolute best decks, the absolute best commanders to use, and just like plays, playing hyper-optimally hyper all the time. Especially in a game like that, it just stops being fun after a certain amount of time. Especially when there's multiple people doing it. It turns it, it's a similar thing as like poker. That if you want to be optimal, the best way is to be aggressive whenever you can and catch people when they're trying to be more passive. Catch them off guard, catch them out of their comfort zone. And then you get an easy win. But that's not fun to fight against is the problem. It's not fun if you're like having a casual game with friends and then one of them hoists up their hand, says they're going all in and everyone else is kind of just forced to go along with it.
Maybe I'm just a wuss, <laughs> but whatever, whatever. Everyone plays games in different ways. It is really dark in here. Um, okay. I don't know where I am, but I don't think I don't think this leads to radiant ruins. It could. Oh. There we go. Yeah, this is radiant ruins. God. Every time I go here, I'm just blown away. This area is just so pretty. Before I keep going, I just want to take a second, like walk around and look at this place. Actually, wait. Give me, give me just one second. All right. Hopefully, that's better. I had to blow my nose. I was simultaneously taking it in and realizing that I've been talking like my nose has been plugged for the past 10 minutes. Now, where do I go from here? I don't think I went any further than Radiant Ruins before. Overgrown Gate is from Bottom Garden, so I gotta go there. To the northeast of the main entrance. Well, I've already seemed to have lost where the main entrance was. Um. the entrance. Okay. So Radiant, this is where I come out from. Okay, now I see it. I have to go into this, to this entrance right here. Ah! So I'll pass over this way. <coughs> Head up to here. How many spikes do I have to go over by? Let's go five. Oop. Yeah, perfect. This leads to the... yeah, this is the pinwheel passage. And this detour should presumably lead to Bottom Garden. Ooh. Pardon me. If I get hiccups, I swear to god. I ain't gonna be happy. Um... Right. Perks of, perks of when I eventually get a new computer is that I'll also, not, I will never have to. Oh, sweet lord. Yep, that's about right for Wataru. Um, <laughs> holy smokes. Yep, that's what, about what I thought. So I gotta go all the way through this area, and eventually that crystal... Yeah, there's garden crystal to the south, is an ivy-colored -colored vending machine. Keep going down, and I get to a stone arch that leads to the overgrown gate. So I kind of just have to keep wandering around. Well, let me get out of here. And I 
couldn't see the door again. Awesome. Oh, uh, why am I in town, Maze? Okay, so I, I was worried. I read that as a one way to a place, not one way from a place. I should still, I should be good. Yeah, I was worried for a moment because if it was a one way, if it was a one way that leads to an area, then I would have walked up that staircase, gone to town maze, and then would, I would have been stuck there. And I'd prefer for that not to happen. I wish there was a way to climb down ladders faster, but that's just that's just RPG maker problems. It's not really a human a human tokey specific thing. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes it makes for comedy. One of the games that I have lined up could eventually play has a gimmick <laughs> regarding a very long ladder. And it only really works because of RPG Maker. This is cool. Okay, that's the way forward. Um, there we go. You know, I gotta sit in this chair. I, I gotta do it as the fairy. It just seems right. Hang on. <laughs> Please step aside for just a moment. Hey, stop getting on top of my head. I think if I keep going along this path, should be able to find that stone gate. That's the one, I think. It's really hard to see what walkable terrain there is. There we go. Yeah, overgrown gate. So what is here? Ooh. I don't like that sound. <laughs> Or a, oh. I can't I couldn't walk in that door. Can I walk in this one? I guess not. They're like they have like little little bars in front of them. Oh, they're not doors. I'm a dumbass. They're arches. I'm so primed to think that everything that has has that that door shape is a portal, but not everything is. Now, where does what is this? Tulip lamp world. 
<laughs> every every time I think I've gone as deep as I can go in Wataru's worlds, they always surprise me. Couple under the shelter. Southwest of the doorway. What the hell? Hey folks. Um, can I just say in advance, this is nothing personal. Apparently this is for a freaking this is for a badge. Off-screen kill. I feel like it's better that way. Now apparently I've unlocked a wallpaper, and I'm also now a terrible person. Sounds... That checks out, I guess. West and slightly south. Um... Oh, okay, so I gotta... Let me backtrack. Things that I do for wallpapers. Oh. Is this... I wonder if this path leads to Rose Garden. This is new. It's not Rose Garden. Certainly Rose something. Whoa, pretty. Oh. <laughs> really? There's not looks like there's nothing here. Except for a menu theme, apparently. <clears throat> In the center there's a lime green egg. Where? Am I blind? that weird creature. <laughs> is that weird thing? What is this? A bear slash frog shaped fountain. Alright, well, I may as well see this path to its to its end. Apparently this is where it terminates, but it's it's worth like looking on looking all the way to the end. And it's blocked off with a traffic cone. Hang. I will never understand people's obsession with Ohio. the free expeditions to flooded bats. Honestly, why not? Let's end it like let's end it with that. It also gives me an excuse to go to Shield Owl World. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. <laughs> Ooh, overgrown condominium. This is whipped cream world. Hmm. I'm checking the vending machine just in case. I'm probably not going to do any of those unless I am certain I know where it is, because half the time it's going to be from an area that I haven't even seen yet. Which, the fact that I've been going for, um, I forget how many videos at this point, it goes to show how, just how little of this game I've actually seen. Even after going for all this time, I can still very easily look at a map, see something new, and go, what the heck? That wasn't here before. That's the thing that fascinates me about this game, that consistently, every almost every single episode of, the, of this game that I've played, I've had at least one moment of, wow, that's cool, or wow, I've never seen this before. I've never played a game that has managed to do that so consistently. It's... it's magical. Thanks so much for watching, y'all.